Hi everyone. In this video I'll be going over a grasshopper script that allows you to create a structure with a panel above. Now all you have to do is start with a surface. So that's what I've done here. Uh, as you can see. And um, it allows you to change kind of that height. The number of divisions. So we'll go to 3 and 5 there. The, the radius here of the pipe. And the height of this top panel. So that's the basic, uh, those are the basic uh, parameters for this this script and I'll go over all the steps to give you an idea of how I came up with this. So I'm gonna hide uh, here I'm gonna hide the uh, let me see let me hide this one and start by showing you kind of you start with the source surface so that's what I have here I just created a plane and so you set that surface and um, if we preview, that gives you kind of that starting point of um, of what basically the basic the base geometry. So we have this here, and we offset that surface a certain height. So that's let me show you that. The way to uh, subdivide and offset the the surface is to use this uh, uh, surface box and use the divide domain square and that allows you to create a u and v count of subdivisions of that surface um, as you can see here so that's the basic uh, subdivision So I'm going to hide the base surface and show you what I did. So uh, in here, I had the curves uh, exploded, and those are the ones that became the pipes. So these curves here became the pipes. these curves became those pipes um, and from that surface it was also offset the same amount as the radius of the pipe which will offset that surface so we're using that initial distance of the pipe radius to offset that surface let's hide that surface and show you the extruded it's the same function of how the the basic wireframe was created here but we're using it to create the top panels and then the top panels are then turned into solids and grouped which I show here at the end as a grouped object. So here's a quick trick on how to deform this uh, this plane to get an interesting effect. And I just go to F10 and you'll get the control points of the corners and I just kind of pull them up. And so that gives you kind of like a twisted plane but then if you go cage edit bounding box and use the defaults you will get all of these control points that then you can pull up 
giving you another another level of uh, to be dimensionality to the to your to your surface and then you can play around with the subdivisions now now if you see that your plane is um, if your structure is above the solid type in flip to flip the direction of your um, of your geometry that way it puts the panels at the top which is the intended kind of way of doing it so let me add like five panels here and bake it so so you can see what it looks like when it's kind of complete alright let's go here bake it and then I use this gray button to kind of hide it and there we have a cool structure that is really accurate and you know can be used on any surface I hope you found this tutorial useful um, I will make sure to leave a link to the model and also to the script so you can play around with it and uh, if you do find anything else that you do with it and you want to share with me let me know also let me know if you have any ideas for any other scripts or things you'd want to see in this channel uh, thank you very much for watching